The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX and also the FTSE. You see they are following along. Uh, with, actually, they, they were moving along before ours did because we started late Sunday night and, uh, <clears throat> and continued down. I'll cover that in just a moment. I just wanted to do a few other things here. Our guest today will be uh, Paula Douglas, Mark's uh, widow, and she will be, uh, she's will be she been carrying his torch now for four years, doing a great job. On uh, Wednesday, we're going to have uh, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Friday will be Tim Bost. I'll, I'm have, going to have, hopefully, Jeff Cooper either on Tuesday or Thursday, and on either of those other days, I'm going to have Stan Harley as our guest. So we got a full uh, segment of guests that have done a great job here of uh, what we've been looking at in the markets. But uh, let me give you my two cents worth, folks, of what we're looking at here. This all started, you're all aware of what's going on in China now. That's the big deal. But if you look at the Hong Kong market, this is where we stood last Friday. You notice that we went down and made a perfect three-drive pattern and then rallied 500 points. We went from 2440 up to 2490, closing right on the high. They're supposed to be closed today, folks. In fact, Hong Kong is closed. It's the, uh, the autumn festival the boot cake festival and uh this thing just literally uh they opened it up i don't know still haven't figured out how i've asked several of my friends over there that why the futures market was open and anyway you can see it was down three percent well over a thousand points and the target on this is uh, at least another uh, two thousand points to the downside if that's what it's going to do now that's just the hong kong market from what i hear listening to bloomberg that this thing with the evergrande is about 10 times worse than long-term capital that we had in 1998. But then again, that's information that I don't really need to know, folks. I'm just an old, old featherweight out of Terre Haute, Indiana, just trying to keep above ground here. And uh, all I'm doing is just looking at the charts. That's really all I'm trying to do. Now, there's one, there's two charts here that, that really make – uh, that are that are extremely important, and the one uh, we've we've already talked about these. I mean, it's not not just uh, uh, you know we do it every day. I mean, we talked about the importance of the stock market breaking that key level at 4440 on Friday in the S and P. I mean, that was a major point. But the, write these numbers down, folks, because this is where the the pedal's going to hit the metal and the S might hit the fan because 4290 in the S and P is down one standard deviation, folks. We haven't seen that in a long time. And as we're speaking right now, we are one standard deviation down in the Russell. I mean, it's right there, right now. There's no, well, I, this is where we were, of course, on Friday. But uh, you'll notice here with the, the with Russell, we are, I believe we're trading at that uh, 4160 uh, right now. And that, that is the one standard deviation. Getting below that, that means the options players are starting to get a little antsy. And believe me, they're already antsy. I've had several questions as why has the Dow Jones held up much better than the others? Well, the Dow was down 680 points overnight, and yet – during the day session, it struggled, you know, to get under uh, four or five hundred. So, the, the the difference is, folks, is the index is because it's made up of different things that uh, the other ones are. You know, that that's all. It's an index of stocks. That's why you've got to trade it like an index. It's a bar chart. You know, that's you know really uh, what we're looking at. Now, I had a couple of questions here that I'll try to answer, and uh, the first one is there was an article that came out over the weekend, and it talked about. How some people in the Federal Reserve System, thank you very much, Bo. Yep, it's right below one standard deviation right now in the Russell. Uh, the Federal officials' uh, own security was buying during the pandemic. It talked about them doing it. Folks, if you think Federal officials don't use this stuff to their advantage, you're, <laughs> you're, uh, you're, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge I'd like to sell you. But uh, believe me, they use it all the time. And they don't have to report to anybody because it's a private organization, the Federal Reserve. 
Probably one of the best newsletters written in the last couple of years was done this weekend by John Jameson for me. And I really hope that those of you that get the letter read it very carefully because it's a history of the crashes starting in 1837. If you remember, that's when we didn't have a Federal Reserve. We had the U.S. Bank, and that's when Andrew Jackson – and believe me, folks, Andrew Jackson was one of our greatest presidents because if it wasn't for him, we would be speaking a different language. So uh, this, is, this is very important to read this, how these crashes occur. They occur all the time. Since 1837, I think we've had – I, I don't know the exact number, but there's been a great deal of them. What we do is we try to match the patterns with what we're seeing in the market and to give us an idea of what we are. Now, if we get below that 4293 in the S&P, that's the first sign, especially doing it on the first day. That's the first time that uh, this has happened. We've already done it in the Russell. The number on the NASDAQ is down around 14,800, I believe, and it's close to that right now. So if we do it on the first day, that's a real sign that the option players have lost control. And remember, the options market is six to ten times bigger than the futures market. So protect yourself. That's the main thing. I don't doesn't make any difference whether you shorted the Russell up there at the 78 percent level uh, that it hit, you know, twice in September when we were making the NASDAQ. Deck triple top at uh, you know fifteen thousand seven hundred. I mean, we we talk about these every day. I mean, people laugh. Oh well, trying to pick a top again. No, I was just looking at a pattern. That's all I was doing. I don't care whether it's a top or not. If it turns out to be a top, hey, stop and think of this, folks. Every major crash has led to a great buying opportunity. Look at it that way. You know how far, however far down they go, that'll be a better opportunity for you. But if you're if you do get a little bit on the short side, sure, that's great. But if not. You know, you don't have to worry about that. That's the most important thing is to control how much money you have at risk at any time. And I've been warning people for three weeks here to protect your portfolios because, you know, something wicked might come this way and wickedness has already started. It started on Thursday. It continued on Friday and continuing today. We're down now, I think, 10 days in a row. But that is not true because we went down seven. We had that three-day rally at the 382 up there at the S&P at 4480. We hit it three times in a row, and then we've then we've rolled over. So that's that's why we're watching these uh, numbers so very very carefully. The one thing that's out there that is very ominous that you have to pay attention to, and that's this graph from the Federal Reserve and the fact that the velocity of money is not moving. In other words, this thing about inflation. Uh, may not be uh, what a boogaboo like they're talking about it because the darn thing is really get uh, uh, during the thing. <laughs> okay, uh, I just got a little message from the princess here. Okay, we we will keep an eye on these things because uh, folks, folks, I I don't understand the economics of this, and I've got a master's degree from a major university in finance, and I got other with other degrees don't mean anything. I, I look at the patterns. That's all I'm looking at. Let me let me show you something that that's really important. That, that, uh, well, I've got to do it in two segments. Let's take a quick look at the cryptocurrencies here because I want to go through a little bit of a history of this, and then I want to. Uh, I want to uh, talk about some of this other stuff. But here's the uh, the Bitcoin way back when it was uh, trading for you know 100 bucks or something, and it went to 20,000. We all know what happened. We get back from the break. Uh, I believe we will uh, talk about this. Oh. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of Bitcoin that shows how it went from, well, roughly 100 bucks back in uh, 2012 up to uh, in 2019. It went to uh, just under 20,000. From 20,000, it went to 3,000. From 3,000, it went to 65,000. That just tells you that this market is very, uh, very, very volatile. Folks, what I know about cryptocurrencies and blockchains is you could write on the head of a uh, safety pin on the head of a safety pin in boldface type. That's how much I know about that stuff. But the one thing I do know is I know how speculators act. They buy when it's going up, and they sell when it's going down. Let me just give you a quick example. One of our favorites that we've been following along with uh, John Jameson here uh, over the past uh, few years has been the uh, price of uh, Cordano. That is uh, ADA is a symbol. Uh, John was originally buying this at around three cents. You'll notice here that uh, we made a big ABCD pattern with a beautiful three drive and a butterfly. And around the 1st of August at $3 and uh, $3 and 10 cents from $3 and 10 cents. You'll see the market came down, made an absolute perfect Gartley at the 61% retracement there at, at 275. That was just on the 10th of August. And now it's been heading down. As you can see, we're breaking down uh, below. We're getting ready to break below two, it looks like. But the ABCD structure on this takes it to $1.55. I know it's only $1.55. The principle is that these patterns are marked because they follow what the public is doing. And folks, this is how the Fibonacci numbers work. They work because it's all about fear and greed, and that's what you're lucky. Uh, hold on here. Z, you're a service discussing prices and patterns, especially if you have, oh, well, I just do what I can, Z. That, you know, heck, I, I don't have a, uh, oh, a little bit of entertainment here, just a tiny bit of entertainment. One of the things that I like to do, don't like to watch football or any of that stuff anymore, but I'd love to watch the auto auctions. Now, I'm watching an auto auction on Sunday, okay? And I see this uh, 1983 928 Porsche comes up, okay, for auction. And they started at $50,000. You can't give one of those cars away for $5,000, and this one comes out for $50,000. I says, what is this? It must have gold bars. It must have gold bars in the trunk because I keep looking at the car, looking at the car, and then they bring it up, and I see the license plate, and it's an Illinois license plate. 
Boys and girls, that's the car that Tommy Cruz drove in risky business. Do anybody want to guess what that car sold for? Remember, that was the car that was underwater in the lake when they lost control of it. Remember, they had to be completely redone. Well, it went for 100000 200000 300000 500000 800000 $1.9 million. Some bozo bought that car for. Now, I know it's a nice car, and he could probably get, uh, <laughs> if he took it on to a lot, it went for a $1.9 million, uh, Marshall. But the, the important thing about this is, uh, this is some of these prices that these things are going for. You remember that? You remember the painting that came out that was a, uh, I, f I forget what they call it, where it's computer generated artwork. In other words, nobody even do does it and it's not even signed or anything, computer generated. Do you know that that sold at Sotheby's for $24 million? I mean, give me a break, boys and girls. You think we don't live in interesting times? Oh, indeed we do. Indeed we do. All right, let's move on to a couple of things. That, folks, you know, I, I've been doing this thing for 14 years. You've got to be really careful if this S&P gets below 42.93 on the first day like this. I know, it's, I know it's only down a few days from the high, but if we did it this quickly— this is, this is how it all started in 1987. 1987, uh, S Secretary Baker was in Hong Kong, and he came out and said, regrettably, and when he said the words regrettably, there was no overnight markets. They, you know, the regrettably didn't happen right away, but there was no overnight markets. But they were ready when we opened the S&P that night or that morning because uh, we already knew that Hong Kong and some of these other markets had gotten hit so bad and then it just started to accent accentuate. But remember, the 19th was the crash, the bottomed on the 20th, the low on the 20th, folks, was an exact 61% retracement of the low from August of 1982. So you want to, there's going to be a bottom in here somewhere. So there's some really good things happening. So we just have to wait and see. If you're fortunate enough to be short, then, you know, wait till we see this next bottom coming in. And all this is so far is a correction. I mean, it's a bad correction. Maybe it's a good one because we haven't had one since Hector was a pup, net dog, 17 years old. So let's pay attention to it. 42.93 is the number in the S&P. And I believe we went through it already in the NASDAQ. And we're just about to go through it in the, uh, not the NASDAQ, but the Russell. And we're about ready to go through it in the NASDAQ. So that's another one that looks, uh, you know, really, really interesting to pay very close to it. Yes, the VIX is up 30 percent. We're bound to see those. We, we will see a VIX way over 50, 60 or 70 before this thing is over. Now, one of the things that we watch when we're watching these crashes is how. Uh oh, just a second. I got that one missed up. Here we go. Let me. This is one of the trades that we did last night. Uh, we did. We do these Sunday night videos to light this up. We were looking for the euro to come down. We made the exact low. We were trying to buy it at seven one seventeen eighteen. The low was one seventeen fifteen, and uh, it uh, rallied about fifty pips off of that. So it's in a risk-free trade. That that's all it is. Don't know anything about what's going on. All I'm doing is looking at the patterns. That's it. The bonds still look bearish, even though we've had a pretty good rally today, which is a pseudo flight to quality. And we'll find out whether that's going to be too much or not. Some people have asked me, uh, yesterday was Tom Hugard's 52nd birthday. And believe me, folks, he came in short to max uh, on uh, Friday night. And uh, he has had a terrific day today. And so we're happy to see uh, our friend Mr. Hugard uh, do so well. Now, I would like to mention to you folks, pay attention to one particular chart that we follow here very closely. This comes from our friends over in Denmark. Tom's hometown. Oh, let's try that again, Larry. Home country. If you'll notice this, this is the. Uh, I want you to pay attention to the far right ABCD pattern. You see that ABCD there, the big red one. Okay, that's what's happening right now. That three eight two number in the gold is at seventeen seventy. We got up to seventeen sixty eight. So that's a small ABCD. Now, if gold breaks down below that. Uh-oh, look out. And this may be one of those deals where it's not a question of, you know, uh, what you're looking at. It's looking to be for a flight to quality or just to stay out of it. Remember the words of Bernard Baruch in his main, in his, auto, his, uh, his autobiography, autobiography called My Own Story. He said in there, the stock markets and, com and markets, financial markets exist for one particular reason, he said, it's to take as much money away from Ill ignorant people as it possibly can. In the words, I'm paraphrasing it, but that's basically what he was saying. So 
be careful, you know, use some common sense, always use stops. I've been saying this for 14 years, because if you don't use a stop, you're telling the market, you know, more than it does. And that just doesn't happen. We're going to have Paula Douglas here pretty quick. And I've known her for a long time. She actually married Sarah and I, and Mark being my best man and also my best friend uh, was sort of a family get together. And uh, unfortunately, um, his birthday would have been a week today. He would have been 69 today, and his how old he would be. Anyway, we'll have Paul on. She's done a great job. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, I believe we have Paula Tomasini Webb Douglas on the line. Are you there, PT? Yes, I am, Larry P. What's up? Hey, hey looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Louis. <laughs> Everything is good. It's hard to believe we've known each other for so long. Hey, you know, before you start your little uh, show, tell, tell the folks how long uh, you and I, Mark, uh, you and Mark worked together on this because you, you read every piece of paper that he wrote at least 10 times. You, do you want to give him a little background of uh, how you met and how long you were married and stuff? Sure. Uh, Mark and I met in the fall of 1984. He was just about to give his first presentation to 
some investment conference. I don't even remember what it was. Com- but, CompuTrack. Um, it was CompuTrack. And he needed his speech typed because it was just all on legal pads. And, you know, guys, this was way back in, you know, caveman time when not everybody had a little, you know, personal computer. So, you know, a mutual friend introduced us. I went over there and started typing. And I have to tell you, we worked from 3 o'clock that afternoon until midnight. And I was toast. I was history. I fell in love with his brain immediately. Mm -hmm. Then he took me out for a late dinner. And we were inseparable from that point forward. So... We started working on the Discipline Trader shortly after that because he was a retail broker at Merrill Lynch, and I was a floor trader and ran the floor operations before that at the Mid-America Commodity Exchange, the first exchange to offer mini contracts. So our, our two perspectives really melded together greatly. Now, the reason that my, name's, my name is not on either book was because, again, way back when, in the late 80s, the fact that there was no such thing as trading psychology it was completely unheard of, as you know, Larry. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so our publisher, Penguin Random House, felt that they were even taking a chance on publishing the first two books. So there was no way they were going to put a woman's name on it, especially somebody, you know, they didn't know me. They didn't know Mark. Mm-hmm. but So they put the man's mm-hmm. name on it. But after those two books, of course, my name got, went on everything and... So Mark and I got married in 1991, and we were together, you know, unfortunately, till he passed away. Mm -hmm. Um, And along the way, we did a lot of work with Larry. We did a lot of workshops together, and uh, those were lots of fun. And, uh, you know, so I'm not filling his shoes. I'm I'm just continuing our collaboration. You're you're carrying a torch. Tell us what you're looking at today, P.T. Well, what we're looking at today is I just want to remind everybody that, first of all, that the markets are not going anywhere. I I get a number of traders calling me saying, you know, the world's collapsing with all this pandemic stuff. And is Wall Street going to be around tomorrow? And and so they're they're fear based in their trading. So Mm -hmm. first and foremost, Wall Street is not going anywhere. And let's be honest, if Wall Street crashes, we're all dead anyway. So what's the difference? So why worry about it, okay? <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> you know, but on top of that, the other thing is, is that we truly are living in an age where we don't know what's going to happen, not just in the markets, but across the planet. Mm-hmm. And so you have to adjust your mindset accordingly. And that's kind of our focus going forward is that truly embracing what we've written and taught for years is that you don't know what the market's going to do. And now you have to understand that you don't know – what's going to happen anywhere, and so you have to expand your mindset to understand that, yes, you can make a calculated guess, yes, there's a probable outcome, but you still have to be open to being being able to navigate whatever happens. This is true. Right? I mean, that's, that's what correct. you teach too, Larry. So, well, you know, well, trade we, what we, you we see. Le- yeah, we learn together, that's for sure. Right. Both both the folks don't know, but Mark wrote that book, Trading in the Zone, here in the in our office here That's in right. Tucson, Arizona. Sure did. That's for sure. Um, Paula, do you, you offer certain services because you you of course you're you're an ordained minister and you've got all kinds of degrees and stuff. But uh, what what is the, what's your your main focus now when you deal with folks? Is the mental part of trading like Mark work with, or do you do all facets of it? No, it's it's still focused on the mental aspects. Um, if, mm-hmm. if you're not thinking like a winner, if you're not thinking prosperously, if you're not thinking confidently, then you can't sustain your success. You'll have mm-hmm. cycles, you know, as we say, boom and bust. You know, they may not be tragically boom and bust, but they won't be consistently rising mm-hmm. equity curve. So you have to really de-energize any limiting or conflicting beliefs that you have. And a lot of times traders don't know that they have conflicting beliefs. And so that's kind of what I help them get to the root of, is finding out, mm-hmm. oh, okay, yeah, this is really, I don't need to think this way anymore. You know, just oh, that's, expanding that's, that's your, a, yeah. your mental perspective to be open yeah. to all opportunity. Mm-hmm. 
I remember a period when uh, when Mark was uh, very well. He was always involved with Neil Walsh, uh, and I think that was a very very important thing about the mental part of trading. Because I when I first met Mark in '83, and we were looking at those things from Merrill Lynch and stuff, and uh, it, it was just totally amazing to me that I had not looked at the mental part. I had little bits and pieces, you know, you know, keep your losses small, that kind of stuff. But to to really focus on, you know, thinking about winning and stuff like that and, and risk control, I never really dawned on me. Fortunately, we became such good friends it and became engraved in me. And uh, it turned out to be a you know, blessing. And I remember that we used to do the seminars here here in Tucson. We'd have folks come in from just about everywhere to, uh, yeah. you know, give. Yeah, we should do that in Palm Springs too, Paula. We, we ought to do a live seminar as soon as this uh, COVID stuff gets out of the way. I think we could have a pretty good crowd because we always did a three day gig. We do one day of live trading and two days of talking about the mental part of trading and trading strategies and got everybody walked away with uh, you know a great deal of anticipation it turned out to be great yeah those those uh, were fun yeah, I mean I'm yeah. still doing one on one workshops I mean I've never oh, stopped doing those um, mm. and uh, but they are live they're not mm. recorded they're not you know on the mm. internet uh, you know uh, unfortunately due to you know internet piracy and that kind of thing but yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah I mean the, my my last student was a gal who came over from Switzerland and she brought her four adult children, and so there was five of us, and we sat here and rocked and rolled for two and a half days, and then they loved it so much, you know, they stayed on for another day. Mm -hmm. So wow. it, it's mm -hmm. it's really a lot of fun, as you know. We love mm -hmm. doing it, and um, mm -hmm. you know, let's yeah, let's definitely plan on something soon. Yeah. I remember the seminar we did in 1993 when we had the hockey players there from the 1980 Olympic oh, team, yeah. O'Callaghan, Jack Hughes, and yeah, yeah that was yeah, we had such a good time. I remember Mark got up and kept talking about you know how much he loved hockey and how much he liked the Olympic Games, and they raised their <laughs> hand and they said, "Yeah, we were there." <laughs> yeah, and Mark's like, "Oh, you you went to the game?" And they're like, "No, we were the game." You know, we were in the game, yeah, and okay. I know. And Mark's jaw just about fell open. He's oh, like, "Oh yeah. my God!" It yeah, was it I, was really I, cool. And then, and then really. you had that play. You had your your uh, award thing that time, and uh, Jack took him over to the uh, the uh, what's they call that center there in Chicago where the Bulls play. And they took the yeah, gold the, the medal. Yeah, the Blackhawks. Yeah. And they and they gave Mark the gold medal to to wear to. You wore it. You yeah, yeah. I still have. Yeah. I still got my oh, picture here. Yeah. I still got Mark's yeah. picture. And, yeah. Hey, stay, stay with us. I want to let the folks know how they can reach you. We'll be right back with Paula Douglas, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. A prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Paula Douglas. And Paula, uh, tell the folks how they could reach you, please. Okay, you can reach me at www.markdouglas.com, and that will take you right to our website. And on mm -hmm. there, you'll see all our all our products. Uh, you know, I do one-hour consultations uh, all the way up to, you know, keeping you on track on a regular basis. But everyone, first off, gets a free 30-minute chat with me to see how they can improve their trading wow. anytime. Just call me, email me, set wow. it up, and uh, we'll go from there. That's fabulous. But one final thing. I know uh, this is September's of what we call a B-I-T-C-H month for you because <laughs> your, your birthdays and stuff. Uh, uh, Mark passed away just a few days after your birthday, wasn't it? Uh, Two no, days. Right before, right before. Yeah, yeah, right before. Yeah, I remember that. And I know his birthday was the 27th. Uh, right. Paula, let me ask uh, the question I'm trying to get to is mumbling around here is if you were to uh, if we were to do a seminar like this, uh, I think we could get Arch Crawford and Rich Anderson and some of the old group to come out and, uh, you know, give talks. So let, let's uh, let's explore that. Maybe doing it either here in Tucson or let's do it. Actually, probably Palm Springs. Well, the flights are about the same. So let's talk about it maybe uh, for or the springtime. Maybe Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix is good too. Yeah, let's do yeah. that. I think it would be fun. I'd bring out the old grand. Yeah, Phoenix and it would, would be, be uh, easiest, I think, for everybody just to fly into. Yeah, I mean, sure I can would. just drive yeah. over because getting to Palm Springs is a little problematic because then they got to take yeah. two flights. And, you know, so sure. Phoenix might be good. Okay, and we're going to have you on again soon, so we'll talk to you then. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Larry. Thanks. You thanks, bet. all you Th traders. Have a great trading day. Okay, thanks a lot. There is a there is a class act, boys and girls. Let me tell you, it's, uh, you can't ask for anything nicer than her. Now, this is a very important chart. That, well, they're all very important. Duh, duh. Because where we are right now in the old dollar index is very, very important. Let's take a look. From my perspective, because it's a uh, – let's get this up here. Because it is a head and shoulders pattern. If you'll notice here, let's get this up here. There you go. There is what I'm looking at. This is the, I sent this video out, of course, Sunday night to show you that we have a potential for a head and shoulders pattern uh, in the uh, dollar index. The left shoulder and the right shoulder equal. The time distance between the sh left shoulder and the head and the right shoulder and the head is equal. That makes it a perfectly symmetrical pattern. This is what Andrew Lowe, he required it to be a head and shoulders. Those were his requirements. And so if you'll notice here, the red line that you're looking at right here, this is the inverted the inverted line for the gold. In other words, if the dollar goes up, gold goes down because this is inverted gold. That red line is the inverted gold chart. So this is why this is so important. This is why this pot, this pattern that we're seeing in gold has a possibility to be a major bottom. I 
like nobody else. I don't know where the bottom is. All I can say is if we can exceed the 382 retracement in the gold at 1770, I mean by, you know, three, four, five dollars and more the better, then we'll have a really good idea that, yep, that bottom is in and you want to get ready to buy that first harmonic number, the first pullback back, because then you got a really good place to look at it. But right now it could go either way. That head and shoulders just sitting there. If you looked at the euro, it's the upside down version of this. You know, that's why we were taking, in, instead of going into gold, which is much riskier, we bought the euro at that right shoulder. It's So far, it's made uh, three, 400 bucks. Doesn't mean much. But now we're in a, in a risk-free situation because now we don't have to uh, we don't have to worry about whether the thing's going to uh, go the other way because we basically have it risk-free. Now, it, might, it might, might turn out to be a pretty good one, and it might be one that just turns out to be a, a, no, a non-winner. But a non-winner is just like a, a, just like a winning trade because you can't count it in the losing the usually common okay mr z asked me when i was in chicago i was in chicago from uh january of 1982 until august of 1980 82 83 yeah august of 84 and then i went to commodity corporation for a couple of years there in princeton new jersey and then back to california and then to tucson and i've been here uh, ever since hard to believe folks i will stop and look at this thing and i'm 80 years old and i love this stuff as much as i did the day i have i thank god that i stumbled into something that i really like to do i know what i do is relatively simple and i know it's as boring as heck but by golly it works for me and it's fun and it makes everybody uh well not everybody's happy of course but but, you know, it's a good way of, uh, you know, approaching the markets. And fortunately, I made an association with TFNN back in 2002. And that's worked out really great because all the friends we have here and, and the people that they have in this, this room here, it's just, you know, truly amazing. You know, you, they, Tom, Tommy, Basil Chapman, we got the people from Think or Swim, uh, Steve Rhodes, David White, and plus the other stuff. It, it really does uh, add a lot of stuff. And we got Mr. Z in the room, plus the other people that post things. And Mr. Z is about as good a trader as you're going to find. And he posts all of his trades in there. Let, you know, set a look at it. So it's a good thing if you're, if you're lonely and you want to learn something, go to that TFNN website, join the room there. It's not very much. And then you can see what they're trying to uh, post. And that's what I what I think is uh, what is important. So I and not only that, I appreciate all of the stuff when, when I when I get when I get comments that, you know, you know, try to clean up your act or whatever. I appreciate that. And if you want to see something, you know, I'll be happy to post it if I can. We've, we've done this before. We'll probably do it again because I I got to, you know, shake up the tree a little bit and do things a little bit differently. So those are the main things. I, I think that 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 the key price, folks, write this down, and we came, haven't come close to it yet. But 42.93 in the S&P. We've already broken on the in the uh, Russell, and we've come down close to it. We didn't quite get it in the Nasdaq, the one standard deviation. But that's it. When you see stu when you see, let's try to get the words out of your mouth, Larry, one at a time. When you see two standard deviation move. There's trouble in River City, as Robert Preston would say. Then you're looking at something that's going to be really nasty. Remember, we've gone from what uh, I forget where we were in 2009. The Dow was at 6,600, and now we're at uh, 30. We had just just missed at the old 35,000 level, and we we were we were trying to uh, emphasize the importance of that. You know, all during the time when we were uh, you know doing these charts and everything. So. I think it's important that we realize that when we're looking at these charts, that that, that they, they they give you an idea of where support and resistance is and where trouble could actually you know come in, and that's what you really want to stay out of. So, uh, that that's just my two my two cents worth. That's uh, that's all I can tell you. We'll see. Here's a couple of charts that you got to pay attention to. This is this is where the real problem lies, folks. This is the the junk bond market. You'll notice that. Uh, 80% of the junk bonds have a negative return. Now, you can explain to me why somebody's going to buy a junk bond at a negative interest rate. I guess they're just looking for capital appreciation. That's the only thing that I can look at. I, I can't see that. But here's the one that's the most scary of all. I got these from the uh, – hold on one second and get this up and look. Look at the money that's come in here in the last year, the money flowing into the markets, into global equity funds. This covers – this year – 
did more than the other 10 years totally combined. And the problem with that is, folks, there's a lot of people out there that don't have any skin in the game and don't know what markets are all about, and those are the ones that are going to get hurt. So let's be careful. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, here's uh, one of the charts that we've been talking about for quite some time. This is the uh, Amazon daily chart. You can see the head and shoulders pattern. Again, the right shoulder has to be uh, either even or equal to the left shoulder, the time distance between right shoulder head head and the left shoulder it has to be equal which it is and you can see uh, we had a little bit of a break the rally Friday was right at a 61 percent retracement back at uh, 3495 and we are down a hundred and some dollars down about five percent today in Amazon which is quite a bit leaving another another gap you notice that we did fill that gap 
uh, that it left at uh, 35 35 and we went down to the 61 percent retracement there at 3175 but that is a perfectly symmetrical head and shoulders pattern you really need that symmetry that doesn't mean that you can't trade against it but if you want a perfect head and shoulders pattern you have to you that's what you have to do if you look to the left of the chart folks where it says amazon daily and then go down you'll see the head and shoulders pattern that was there on its way to the double bottom again you have a perfect symmetrical head and shoulders pattern with the left shoulder and right shoulder right shoulder being lower the distance between the left shoulder and the head and the head and the right shoulder all equal and that what gives you your thing and then also you see the gap down so if you're looking at this the abcd structure here on Amazon is going to take it down to 2940. We've got another 500 points to drop uh, in Amazon. That's uh, that's what it looks like. And until something changes, that's what you have to go by. So that's a few of the things that we're watching here. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. I believe, oh, don't forget on Wednesday, we have uh, Tim Bost. Up, let's let's try that again, Larry. Jeff, huge Alpha Insights is on Wednesday. Tim Bost will be on Friday. Hopefully, we'll have either Stan Harley or Jeff Cooper tomorrow. Jeff Cooper is all old time friend from 30 years ago. His father was a legendary trader in the Beverly Hills area, and he's a specialist in GAN. So those are the things that we're looking at. So use stops, folks. If you don't, you're in big doo doo.